guys welcome back good morning or afternoon evening whenever you're watching this um yeah it's monday morning when i'm doing this is it morning still okay it's noon <laughs> it's dang okay it's noon um but this video will probably be up tuesday <laughs> so happy tuesday uh it is me myself and mitchell day okay i'm about to play in this mug see what's happening i'm excited to check out these colors pigmentation blendability see what i can get going i'm gonna try to do all colorful looks this week you guys because fall is coming and yeah y'all know fall ain't my thing so i'm still gonna be doing color in the fall too but <laughs> <laughs> we go check out this palette today the me myself and Mitchell palette okay so we're gonna get into swatches an eye look all that good stuff so as you can see my face is completely bare not even a brow in sight so I'm gonna throw on some eyebrows using what am I using today Maybelline tattoo studio um, brow pomade or whatever Going with that, clean it up with some Wet n Wild concealer. We'll come back and then we will jump into this eye look. Okay, so I brought you guys in a bit closer so you'll be able to see what I'm doing on my eyes a little bit better. I did use this CoverGirl concealer on my eyelids since it's too light for my face. But this is what we got going with this palette, you guys. So we got the red side red orangey pinky side and then the blue purple greeny side um i'm gonna go ahead and do some quick swatches so you can see some swatches and it might help me figure out exactly what i want to do because i'm about to get crazy with this palette today y'all is the more blue purple cool tone side now what I'm noticing about this palette is that the mattes are very pigmented they are a little powdery they don't feel gritty or anything when I swatch them they feel nice but because of the pigmentation they are a bit powdery in the pan so I, I feel like I'm gonna get some serious color today you guys and the shimmers and Duo chromes, oh my gosh, so freaking pretty. Gotta switch out my brushes because I have certain brushes that I don't care if they get stained and then I have other brushes where I do care if they get stained. So I'm switching to the brushes where I don't care if they get stained because <laughs> I feel like they about to get stained. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use tape today because I wanna just have a nice clean line. Okay, I don't know why I'm so nervous about using this palette, you guys. Maybe because it could go oh so right, but it can also go oh so wrong. <laughs> so there are names for these shadows. I am going to do a rainbow look today, y'all. So I'm gonna start out with the yellow, this really bright yellow up here on the red side, which is Manchester. And I'm just tapping that down to get the most pigment. And as you can see, I'm not using a white base or anything. Even though the CoverGirl concealer is pretty light, I didn't use a lot of it, so. Okay, so now I think I wanna go into this green shade here, Miracle. So I'm gonna go into that. So 
So I feel like with this palette so far that your base does matter. I don't think mine is sticky enough right now. So I am going in and just building the colors up until it gets to where I want it to be. But I think if my base was a little bit more sticky, then the pigmentation would come out a little bit better. Now I think I want to go into this dark blue shade, which is Moody Mitch. And just place that right next to that lighter blue. I really like this blue is very pretty nicely pigmented I'm gonna go back in later and perfect my blending right now I just want to lay down my color scheme and figure out what shape I want <laughs> but I'm liking how it's coming together so far yeah that dark blue is nice okay purple I'm gonna go into this purple right here first Okay, now I want to go into the shade Motto, M-O-T-T-O, -T -T -O. so it's a little bit more of a red toned purple, and place that right next to that basic purple. <laughs> I know y'all like, KK, you gonna use every color in the palette? If I could, I would, okay? <laughs> and this is where I'm kind of dragging out the shape that I want for this look. Okay, and so right next to that purple, coming down a little bit on the lower portion of my lid, I wanna add a bit of red. So yeah, I'm gonna go into, is it m -m 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 mad? <laughs> <laughs> this red shade here, place that right next to that purple. And I'm just trying to blend those edges together just a bit. So I'm dipping into that red and just a tiny bit of that purple just to kind of blend those together. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, do kind of like a three quarter cut, and then we will take care of this lid. Okay, so now that my crease is cut, I'm just going in with just a little bit more of that red on the outer corner, just to blend it into the edge of that cut crease. Okay, so now let's tackle this lid. There are some gorgeous shimmers in here. This whole row right here is all shimmers. This white is kind of like a dual chrome type situation, but I definitely want to play with this gold. I think this white on this side, as well as this pink here. So, ooh, and this one is pretty too. That's a purple, kind of purple blue shimmer. Ooh, am I doing a rainbow lid? Ah! <laughs> I would do just a little bit of each, okay? So I'm gonna start out with this purple blue shifting one and place that right next to the red. And I am gonna be spraying my brush for each of these shimmers. extremely overwhelmed let me pick up a little bit more this color here is very pretty it is crumbly with a brush I'm gonna tap a little bit with my finger I hate using my finger to put on shadows but I know sometimes that's the only way to get the most payoff so yeah I mean it's very pigmented very pretty you can probably see it is kind of thick, a little bit thick and crumbly. But we gonna work it out.
that was the shade Mega. Now I'm going into Michelle, which is a pretty pink shimmer here. Place that right next to Mega. And I am digging in the pan a bit with my brush just so I can pick up a decent amount. Kinda have to adapt my technique which I think we all do with different palettes because you know they have different formulas some of them are just super easy and smooth to work with and other ones can be a little more chunky a little harder to work with especially with shimmers if you don't like using your fingers like me I don't <laughs> I don't so and because I know that sometimes I do dig into the shimmer a little bit too much you know causing it to be a little bit chunkier than it needs to be just so I can get my pigment right okay so now I want to go into this gold shimmer here which is called melted and then right on my inner corner I'm going to go into marine which is this shade here So this is the basic eye look, you guys. Basic, not so basic. <laughs> so I'm gonna take off this tape, clean up, add some liner, finish my complexion, then we'll come back and finish up these eyes. Okay, you guys, I'm back with my complexion all done. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and finish up these eyes, you guys. I'm going in with one of my, <sighs> being blind ain't no fun okay LA girl shockwave neon and it's this purplish color vivid I'm gonna use this on my lash line and going back into the palette I do want to use a couple more colors well at least one more color I want to try out this neon green so I want to put a little bit of that on the inner portion of my lower lash line it would probably stick better if I put down a white base but the pigment is there because the more I tap on it it kind of feels like it's taking some of the color away yeah i'm gonna try this side with a little bit of my revolution cut crease canvas just a little bit to see how that works i usually don't like to have to put down any type of base <laughs> on my lower lash line before i put a color down but gotta do what you gotta do So yeah, that's definitely holding the color better with that little white base underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead, add a little bit of cut crease canvas to this side and then finish the rest of my lower lash line. And for the rest of my lower lash line, I'm just going to smoke it out with some of that same purple that we used up top. Now y'all, I tried to be fancy and I was gonna put on some lashes today for y'all since this look is so bold. I was gonna put on some cute, big, bold lashes. Uh-uh. As soon as I got glue on my contact, I knew that was the Lord telling me, you know what, uh-uh. It ain't that serious, just move on with your life. Move on with your life, so. Uh, yeah, I'm going in with my Pixie by Petra mascara today, okay? <laughs> and that's about it.
Okay, and so for lips today, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it nude. I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner, my Shayla and ColourPop collection lipstick in Slow Down, and I'm going to top that with my Milani lip gloss, and this one is called Keep It Full. look you guys that I created today from the me myself and Mitchell eyeshadow palette um, first impression thoughts okay let's start with the packaging the packaging is very unique very unique I can't say it's like my favorite design I'm not even sure what this is it must just be a whole bunch of symbolism to Mitchell <laughs> Cause I don't even know what all this stuff is on here maybe you do but it's really cool just a little different to me okay so the packaging as far as with the palettes and the shadows it is a bit awkward to hold I will say that because you know it's like you have these two sides and so it's a bit big bulky and awkward I don't hold my palette when I do my makeup, so it's not a big deal to me. I lay it on the table and <laughs> keep it pushing, but if you care about that, then that might be something to take note of. I would definitely suggest at least keeping one of the plastic sheets that comes in the palette instead of just tossing them because if you forget to put the mirror back in here and you slam it closed or something you can definitely get a mixture of shimmers and mattes in different colors by doing that so i would definitely say keep the plastic and try to remember to put the mirror the little handheld mirror back inside of the palette if you can um so those are just some thoughts on the packaging and things that might be a little bit awkward to you as far as the formula I like this palette it's very nicely pigmented now I do have some suggestions <laughs> for this palette I would suggest definitely using a tacky eyeshadow base or primer um, I think that's going to give you the most pigment the most punch out of these shades while they are very highly pigmented beautiful colors I think if you go in with a drier lid or a set base you're not going to get as much pigmentation out of these shadows that you can with the tacky base that's just my opinion these blended together like a dream I mean it was effortless <laughs> you know of course you have to go by color theory if you're doing a crazy look like me and make sure you put colors next to each other that blend nicely together but they blended together with no problem whatsoever I had a good time creating this eye look so with the mattes definitely pigmented they blended out easily I would say there is kick up in the pan. There was powder, <laughs> okay, there was powder. Not anything annoying or crazy to me because I expect that with pigmented shadows. Um, as far as the shimmers go, now these shimmers, this whole row right here is all shimmers and they're absolutely gorgeous. Very nicely pigmented as well. My suggestion with these shimmers is if you don't mind using your finger to apply shimmers to your lid, that's probably your best bet i hate doing that so i always go in with a brush period i don't care what i have to do i'm using a brush <laughs> so if you don't like using your finger and you use a brush just know that you are going to have to dig a little bit to get some of the pigment up make sure you spray your brush because it will get crumbly and you will have fallout so that's just my thoughts on the shimmers they're beautiful Highly pigmented, gorgeous shades, but <laughs> they don't just glide on with a brush like some other shimmers do. This is not like my favorite shimmer formula at all because it does crumble. But will it create a nice, beautiful eye look? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so those are just my thoughts on that. If you're like me and you have to use a brush, just make sure you spray your brush and, you know, be careful. So those are my thoughts on this palette. First impression, you guys. I like it, it's beautiful. It is very nicely pigmented. I found it easy to work with, aside from the crumbly shimmer, <laughs> shimmers. Aside from the crumbly shimmers, which 
you know it is what it is i'm kind of used to adjusting myself to a palette you know if i know that the palette is good it has a decent formula beautifully pigmented if i have to adjust a little bit you know to make it suit my liking just because i have a strange way of applying makeup then i know how to do that so other than that, I have no complaints about this palette. It's very nice. I definitely think it's worth the, what, $35 or something like that that I think I paid for it on Beauty Bay. No regrets. Between this palette and my Be Perfect XL Carnival palette, I have some really nice, beautiful, bold, colorful eyeshadow palettes to play in. I mean, I don't ever have to guess like a where to go to get a bright color. So I definitely give this palette an A plus. <laughs> <laughs> for sure i think it's an a well you know what i'm gonna give it an a minus because the packaging is a bit much okay it is it's a bit much but yeah i definitely would give this an a it's a very very nice palette for 35 dollars. and how many shades are in here 32 shades am i counting right 32 shades for like 35 bucks uh yeah this is a good buy okay so anyways that's it you guys those are all my thoughts this is the look <laughs> i hope you had a good time hanging out with me to test out this palette thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles